Hello and welcome back to Honestly Delicious. Today I'm going to show you how to make homemade peppermint bark. It's one of those things that's really easy to make but I feel like people don't usually make it so I'm going to show you how. Um, the only thing that I am doing that's a little bit different than traditional, I am adding in some pretzels. That's going to give it a nice salty crunchy twist and it's really going to help elevate the peppermint bark to the next level. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and melt four cups of semi-sweet chocolate. I'm going to use a double broiler method. You can also do the microwave if you like. Um, double broiler seems to work for me without burning the chocolate. So that's my preferred method. Okay, so now that my chocolate is all melted, I'm going to go ahead and spread a layer on a parchment lined sheet. don't want to waste any of the chocolate because that is the good stuff. Go ahead and spread a layer. Don't go all the way to the edges. I leave a little bit of space. It does not have to be perfect because remember it's all going to be broken up anyways. Okay, so then once my chocolate is spread all over my sheet, now I'm going to go ahead and take my pretzels. These ones are actually really cute. They got um, like Christmas shaped pretzels, so there's little bells. And I'm gonna go ahead and lightly push that into the chocolate. You don't have to push it all the way down because you don't want it to go through. You just want it to kind of stay put. Now I'm gonna pop this in the freezer for about five minutes and let it firm up. While that's going on, I'm gonna go ahead and melt my white chocolate to put on top. Now I am going to pour this over the top. I'm gonna to top it off with some crushed candy canes. This is about 20 mini candy canes that I just put in a plastic bag and use a rolling pin to crush. Now that that's topped off with crushed candy canes, I'm gonna go ahead and pop this in the freezer for at least an hour to make sure it really firms up. Okay, so I just took this out of the freezer and I just lifted up the edges of the parchment paper to take it out of the pan. Let's cut into this. Okay, so let's taste test this, shall we? Hmm. Honestly, that's so good. So delicious. It's fresh because of the peppermint, it's sweet from the chocolate, and the pretzels give it a nice little saltiness. So good, so easy. I feel like you have to have peppermint bark at your holiday table. I will leave all of the details for how to get the recipe in the caption below. Thanks for watching.